Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, first session in August. It's number three, 03 August. Very, very quiet overnight. We're expecting a very quiet week. There is some potential news headlines on these uh, from these monkeys in Washington, uh, what they're going to do with this next stimulus package. Um, I guess there could be some news about TikTok and and sort of China flare-ups. It's like, uh, kind of reminds me of gonorrhea, the relationship between the U.S. and China, and flare-ups. Um, so that's a potential, but I, typically this first week of August try, tends to lull people to sleep, um, and then things start to kick off uh, in the last three weeks and oftentimes the last two weeks. But this is historically the beginning of risk-off season, so you got to pay a bit of attention here. Um, let's go to ES to start the day. Pretty subdued range last night, 55 and 3 quarters, 73 and 3 quarters. We're basically right where we left it. We did climb up to 69 there at the very, very end of the session on Friday. Um, that was a very bullish close. There's no doubt about it. Uh, when we were down there at 13, two hours to go, I was like, okay, this is really, this looks very troubling um, for the bulls. With our focus was on 31.90, and then boom. 60 handles. Um, here we are, tickling the tippity top here. 82, um, or this top here, which is 84 and a half, was the high in July. Uh, but the main sort of cell region is up there, 33.30, between 33.30 and 33.40, we get a conviction cell. So we're watching that closely. Nothing really to do here today. Like we said, it's going to be a slow one, so um, we're probably not going to do too much. Try and conserve and save our energy for later in the week and later in the month. Euro continued lower. Um, traded down to 40, back at 70 now. Was the selling on Friday sort of the Siemens? Was that Siemens uh, buying dollars for their merger? I don't know. I do know that it was pretty offered, uh, but as, and as we got into the lighter liquidity, which is sort of afternoon time in, in Europe, it got very offered. Um, we'll see. We're not. Uh, we're we're buyers of euro. Not clear where we're going to buy them. Maybe maybe after this right shoulder is is. Uh, Maybe they make a little right shoulder here, down through this. Uh, maybe a fade through 117, then buy back up through 117. Something like that looks uh, appropriate. We are not selling euros. Uh, we're square at the moment, but looking for a good place to buy. Dollar yen, uh, super tricky. Um, you know. What do you say? It went up to 106.43 last night. It's ridiculous. Um, here we are back at 105.83. This ba this move basically stopped all of the shorts out. So looks clean on the downside now. Didn't quite get up to 60 um, where we had some offers. So that was a bit shitty, but certainly didn't expect it to go up there last night. But of course, it, expect the unexpected, right? Uh, in trading. Anyway, we like selling dollar yen. Do we want to sell at 105.83? No. Did we miss this move between 106 and 106.43? Yes. Just like every other bear, they missed it. Or they were, because everyone was basically getting stopped out. Um, tricky. Very, very tricky day on Friday. Um, could have argued we should have made some money in, in euro yen, uh, but we didn't. So, say la vie. Um, euro yen, the reason we should have made money is we talked about this 
about that 124.43, and then we had these 124.31 highs. It's a bit of a break trader's delight. Um, but we got clouded because we were short dollar yen, um, and it clouded our judgment. Pretty amateur move from privateer, I have to say. It was a very amateur day, um, which just goes to show you, even after 30 years, you revert to amateur pretty regularly, and you just got to fight that shit, beat that shit out of you. Um, anyway, tricky. Sterling Yen, same type of chart. No idea what to do with this shit now. This looks like it does want to take a peek up here at uh, 139.74, but you're really heading right into very strong resistance at 141. I don't know. Dollar Czar is the only thing we really did well last week. Uh, this looks like it's turned uh, until you want to just buy, buy dollars against the Czar uh, on any little dip. Not sure you want to chase it up here through 1710. Um, but that said, in the fall, we should probably make new highs. So if you think we're going up to 1930 and we'll maybe kiss the magic 20 double O, um, it's still pretty early. But, you know, this will move up and down. There is vol on this stuff. So um, let me just take a look at the hourlies. This thing trades 94, goes back to 68, trades 09. Surely it's going to go back to, say, 92 on some Harry McClary move. Uh, so I would just say be patient. But Czar and Turkey have turned. Uh, things don't look good for either of those two currency pairs. Aussie, middle of nowhere, um, pretty bearish bar uh, on Friday. 69.22, we all remember that level, um, which is this, is interesting for us. Can we get short Aussie uh, on this sort of, on a risk-off feeling? Maybe, because this Euro has turned a little bit, but again, we're keeping it light. No more reason to go plunging into short Aussie on um, August 3rd, quiet Monday. Euro Aussie, which has been a good horse for us, top side. We're all watching and waiting for this sort of 65, the figure. Um, this was the high on 30, 30 July. 65.46, this high here was 65.73, 65.86. So I guess actually it's more 66, the figure. Hopefully this consolidates a little at the beginning of the week and then when the risk off demons come in, this is a this has been a pretty decent horse uh, to reflect that. Aussie N not really doing dick. Looked overvalued at the end of the day yesterday, just like the CAD yen. But we gave up. Um, we gave up on our CAD yen and Aussie N also. Not really doing much. Nothing really to say there. Uh, Aussie yen. Dollar CAD also bullish engulfed, but not even close to confirming 134.61 is the high. Not really sure what to do with that. Um, likely to go higher as oil plunges this month and S&Ps go lower. But again, today is not the day. Quickly, gold, not too much to do. Nice that it went over through 2000. Kind of failed. Gold's bid, obviously. Uh, don't chase it here at 2,000. There will be some sort of pullback uh, probably at some point this week. Keep your eyes to try and buy low ones in gold. Finally, Bitcoin. Didn't really like it up there. Um, over the weekend, it was up at 12.1. Got jammed back to 10.5. To 10 bearish engulfed. Tricky Bitcoin. You want to buy this. It's basically like buying Tesla. Uh, fundamentals don't really back it. You have to have. You have to believe philosophically in the concept, which we do. We don't really believe in the Tesla concept, but we do believe in the Bitcoin concept. Um, 
try and pick up Bitcoin on the bid, this is going to slowly climb higher, and we think this is, you know, this goes to the moon eventually. Uh, but again, not today. And finally, 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 crude. Um, we're a long ways from 38.74. Pretty small range here. Uh, we did print 39.87. I guess through 39.50, uh, things start looking bearish again. But again, for now, on what we think is going to be a quiet August Monday, we are not uh, pushing any chips to the center of the table. We're just watching, uh, trying to be vigilant, but vigilant without trading. That's the theme today. So, good time to visualize what you think is going to happen at the key levels, S&Ps 33.30, 31.90. Um, what's going to happen at euro dollar at 120? Um, likely resist the first time there. 69.22 in Aussie. Uh, what are we going to do with dollar yen? Tricky now. Downside looks a lot fresher after this move up to 106.43. Good day to visualize stuff. So when it does happen, you'll be more prepared and able to pull triggers and manage with discipline. I've said enough. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.